of the Moga Power Pro from Moga. So Moga, I just say straight on, is a console controller for phones. So this is the Android version, which is the top of the line Android version, the Power Pro. So moving to the front, you have two clickable analog sticks, a D-pad, ABXY buttons, select start, battery indicator, and a button to wake it up from sleep mode, I think. Um, moving to the back, you have R1, R2 buttons, L1, L2 buttons, micro USB power in, and USB power out. Uh, micro USB for the charging, and the USB is a special feature which puts power in Power Pro. This is a thing because there's a 2200 milliamp power battery inside the MOGA that allows you to charge your phone as you game. Moving to the front, you have a lever, and this lever uh, reveals A, B button. So, A mode is when your developers have developed like software to work with specifically with the MOGA, and a B mode is just give the game the raw input and hope they figure it out. Um, also, the lever acts as some sort of um, just put your phone on. Um, they have something called smart lock technology, which is supposed to make the thing very strong and very good. There are two very sticky uh, rubber pads that uh, hold your phone in place up to 3.7 inches wide. It is uh, stretchable, and these rubber pads are for very rough and sticky and will stick on very well unless you really move it extremely hard. Um, the arm also extends so as I said it can fit 3.7 inch wide phones um, and this thing feels very solid in the hand to like adjust and move um, and the overall build quality is very nice you give it a knock apart from the ABXY and D-pad um, these buttons they feel kind of loose and filmsy apart from though that this thing feels very solid overall it's not much flex um, the analog sticks feel excellent and also, okay, um, so what, how about, um, comfort, I guess, um, it is a very nice thing. So it's shaped and basically an Xbox controller. So when I hold it, it just feels perfectly fine. As you know, Xbox 360 controls are one of the most, um, ergonomic controllers out there. And I really enjoy using it. Um, gaming is very fun and it's just so comfortable to touch and hold it. It's just perfect angle. Um, so how do you connect this thing to your phone? In Android you have to download an app called Moga Pivot App. And then you select a mode and there'll be some setup. Maybe I'll do a video of me setting it up but not a high chance. Um, Moga Pivot App from Play Store and just use Bluetooth and connect. Um, on my HTC one I made, I need a, a, like three tries, but all right, I guess. Um, now moving, now let's talk about the overall design. I like the design a lot. It's just black and orange. It's very subtle. It's not as crazy as black and red, um, but I like the color scheme. It's very nice. It looks very gamerish, and the glossy front and the matte overall body is a very nice thing to look at. And I think it's one of the uh, one of the better designs of handphone controllers I've seen out there overall and it's quite eye-catching so if you bring it to school people will be like hey 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 what what in the world is that um just tell them it's Xbox with your phone um so as you uh, know the Analog, uh, the sticks are very good. In fact, you should listen to this. That is how nice they sound. Um, also, uh, so yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, uh, this thing I guess is very cool. So what do I think? Very nice. A device with features however the cost of $80 is on Amazon I think is kind of overpriced but if you can get it on offer be sure to get it it's a great thing to play Android games on um, games that work actually uh, I discovered is Leo's fortune respawnable is FIFA 15 and goat simulator um, so what I think if you have the money and have nothing else to spend it on be sure you can buy it uh, a great device um, apart from the fact that it's quite hard to connect and yeah and it's a great device hmm. so 
top. It's not the most value for money device, I guess. But the design's nice. It feels nice. It's great to use. And I really enjoy it, I guess. Um, hmm. I have nothing else to say. So like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Actually, comment if you uh, have anything else. But dislike it if you dislike it. So thanks for watching my review of the Moga Power Pro. Okay, that was just random. Alright. Goodbye.